Hey everyone, welcome back to your about tutorials. So today I'm going to tell you how to use link. Link is nothing but it's a language integrated query that will that is used to retrieve a data from the sources and the formats. Sources and format means we can retrieve a data from the list, from the arrays, from the data tables. So here I'm going to retrieve a data from the data tables with the help of link. So I have data. In the sheet one that is known as voters and the second is party codes let's see I have first name last name P code and the political party so what I want is the result should be first name last name and the political party should come and the political party should come with respect to the codes so if you see the second sheet the party codes are given here and the in and opposite to the party codes the name I have given so I want these names to be reflected instead of that party codes so the result will look like first name last name and the particle code if you see so Rahum Senha and this party code is 2 means the result should display the Congress so Congress similarly we can verify the other ones also. So now going back to UI path, use Excel application scope, give the path here, use read range activity, create the data table object as GT1 sheet 1, click on the add headers. Same way, just read the second sheet that is party codes, put that in DT sheet 2. Now drag drop from here, build data tables by typing build data table and then click on here on this so I have already created the columns you can create by clicking here give the column name data type you want and just click OK the column will be created in the way you can just yes so I have created the three columns first that is the name is the last and the political party it's the first name this is the last name and this is the political party you can see the result is will become like this so if I change this to the let me change this to first name and this is the last name okay so the result of this will come into the data table DT sheet 3 now use the assign activity from here drag drop here from the activity panel now I'm going to use the link and putting the result into the data sheet 3 in the data sheet 3 so in data sheet 3 I have already have the headers that I have created so let's check the syntax for this so from A in DT sheet 1 as I enumerable join B in DT sheet 2 as enumerable on P code equals to party code so first just check this thing so we have created the allies for sheet 1 or the object for sheet 1 similarly B for sheet 2 so instead of I'm using DT sheet 1 DT sheet 2 I will use directly A for DT, wherever I will going to call the DT sheet 1 I will use A and wherever I'm going to call DT sheet 2 I will use B so let's see here that I have put a join the first table with the second table so this is the first table DT sheet 1 this is the second table on so in which column I put in the P code and the party codes I have put it on the P code of the sheet 1 and party code for the sheet 2 now I'm going to select only those columns that are required so I am just collecting is selecting the first and the last name as this should be same as you're given in the Excel first and the last and so as this is coming from the sheet one so I've used a dot field so now I want a name instead of the quotes so I don't want this I want the name of the political party instead of the P codes so I've used the b dot field name so b is a 
is a sheet 2 basically so b dot field then you give the name here and then I'm just use the power argument as false and put this in the copy dot two data tables because I'm I just need to load this whole record into the DT sheet 3 so that's why I have just to select DT sheet 3 dot load data row so I think this is understood and so now I'm going to put the DT sheet 3 here in the right range so use the application scope and give the path use the right range activity so this is the sheet name this is DT sheet 3 the output of the link and this is like the address of cell from which the data will going to display now coming here go to the I'm just cleaning this it if I'm going to now I'm going to run the bot you will see the result display here on the sheet 3 let me run it mm, okay yes so you see the result has displayed first name last name and the political parties so randomly I'm going to check for Vikas Tripathi uh, Vikas Tripathi have the P code 1 and its party code is BJP Yes, it the party code is PJP. Perfect. So we can do this from the link because there is other way also, but doing the iterations on the data is not a good thing. So just use the link, give the preference to it, and just that's it. Okay. Thanks for watching my video. And you, if you have any doubt on this particular video, you can comment me or you can mail me on uipathtutorials at the rate gmail.com. Thank you. Thank you guys. Bye bye.